What if this year is different for you? What if this truly ends up being your best year yet? Now I know you've said it before, and I know if you're like 80% of people, you've ended up disappointed because so many people don't achieve their goals. What if it starts with, first of all, addressing the beliefs that are holding you back, the ways that you need to think in order to have a quantum leap. And then from that place of being a powerful being, then taking aligned action. I'm gonna be sharing with you in this free, yes, absolutely free, no strings attached masterclass, the steps that I took, the things that I learned that helped me quantum leap into my legs level. And they're the things that I know will help you make this your most extraordinary year yet. I hope you'll join me. Now, as some of you know, I'm certified as a habits coach and my mentor is Dr. BJ Fogg, who's been studying behavior and specifically habits for more than a quarter of a century. And he came up with what is known as the Fogg behavior model. And you can look this up. And what he says is what prompts people to do things is three things, really. And when those three things come together perfectly, that's when we take action. In today's episode, I'm going to be sharing the four words that are stopping you from creating the life of your dreams. If you've ever said these four words, it is what is standing between you and your most extraordinary life. But before I tell you what those four words are, I want to remind you, welcome to The Worthy Podcast with me, Sandra Chuma. And I want to ask you, if you find this episode useful, helpful, to please share please share it with somebody that you think might also benefit from it. And as always, I would be so grateful if you could subscribe. And I love hearing from you. So I'd love to hear what your big ahas, your big takeaways are. Tag me on social media. My handle is at Sandra.Chuma. And you can also tag me at IamWorthy.co. And so with that said, let's dive right into today's episode. And what are those four words that are standing between you and the life of your dreams? I can guarantee that most people, because science says this, research says that most people have said these words at one point or some form of these words at one point. It's either four words or five words that you've said that stop you from achieving your life of dreams. And what are those four words? I will start tomorrow. Or the five, the five favorites are also, I will start on Monday, or I will start on the first. Anything that we use to put into the future what it is that we're going to do to create what we know is what we want to achieve for ourselves, our extraordinary life. There's actually research that's been done where the definition actually of this is procrastination, where it talks about how most people, the majority of people procrastinate on something or another. Something in your life is something that you procrastinate on. And it talks about how we procrastinate even though we know sometimes that the consequences are painful. So why do we do it? Why do we procrastinate? Why do we put off creating our dream life? Well, the three main reasons that we procrastinate, the first one is actually out of habit. There's some people who are just so used to procrastinating, to putting off until tomorrow what they could do today. And these are sometimes people who feel like they thrive under pressure or who've gotten away with doing things at the last minute. And then, as you know, behavior that you do often enough becomes a habit. And so the number one reason why people procrastinate, why we put off until tomorrow, what we know we should do today, put off building all of those things that will help us create our dream life is out of habit. The second reason why people procrastinate is out of fear. We're afraid of rejection. We're afraid we don't know what we're doing. We're afraid that we're overwhelmed. We're afraid of what other people will think. We're afraid that we might fail. 
failure is a huge driver for procrastination. And so it's fear is the number two reason why we put off until tomorrow what we know we should be doing today. And the third reason that we procrastinate is really because of self-doubt, low self-worth and self-doubt. We're not sure we're worthy of what it is that we want to achieve. We're not sure that we're deserving. And so we put off doing those things because we don't truly believe in our heart of hearts that what it is that we want is something that is for us, that we're worthy of having our dreams. Now, as some of you know, I'm certified as a habits coach, and my mentor is Dr. BJ Fogg, who's been studying behavior and specifically habits for more than a quarter of a century. And he came up with what is known as the Fogg behavior model, and you can look this up. And what he says is what prompts people to do things is three things, really. And when those three things come together perfectly, that's when we take action. The first part is motivation. How inspired are we to do the thing that we want to do? Do we really want to do the thing that we want to do? And so that's the first part that I would challenge you to ask yourself is, is this goal, is this thing that I want truly something that is a heart goal? Because oftentimes we're working on head goals, you know, the goals that we think we should want, the things that other people think that we should want. And yet there sometimes is a disconnect and we really aren't connected with it from a heart perspective, from a feeling perspective. And so if you find yourself procrastinating, you find yourself putting off what you know you should be doing to move you towards what you say are your goals, ask yourself, am I truly motivated? Am I truly inspired? Is this truly a dream, a goal that is mine? So the first part of the fog behavior model is motivation. The second part of the fog behavior model is A, ability. How hard or how easy is it for me to do this thing? Now, Here's what it is. When it comes to creating your dream life, if it truly is a dream life, it's a stretch. It's something you've never done before. It's challenging you to be uncomfortable, to get uncomfortable. And sometimes being uncomfortable is uncomfortable. And so when it comes to thinking about why am I putting off the things that I know I should be doing to move me towards my goal, a good question to ask yourself is, How can I make it easier? What can I do to make it easier for myself? Sometimes we're overwhelmed because we're trying to literally boil the ocean. We're trying to do all of the steps in one go. But it's asking yourself, what's one thing? One thing that I can do right now. It also is avoiding that trap of wanting to see all of the steps before you take action. And it really is about asking yourself the question of, what is just one thing that I can do today? It doesn't have to be huge. It doesn't have to be a mind-shifting thing. What's just one thing that I can do today? Because when you do something, anything today, it creates what's called success motivation. And so what success motivation does is, as you know, once you're in motion, you want to do more. And so that's exactly what is, what's one thing that can be that trigger, that step, that first step to me achieving whatever it is that I want to achieve. So the A is all about ability. How can I make it easier for myself to do this thing? And then the P of the fog behavior model is having a prompt, having a trigger, having a cue. What's the prompt that I can give myself to remind myself that, hey, it's time for me to do that thing. It's time for me to take action. And sometimes as well, even though we know it's time to take action, it's very easy for us to say, oh, I'll do that tomorrow. One of my favorite books is actually um, by Mel Robbins. And in there, Mel Robbins teaches the 54321 model, where she says that, The minute you've had your prompt, that cue, that trigger that says, hey, it's time for you to take action, literally count yourself down, five, four, 
three, two, one, go. Don't think about it. Because the moment you introduce a negotiation, the moment you introduce a, well, maybe I'll do it later. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. You've lost the battle. It's not going to happen. You can't let there be a moment of you second guessing yourself. Because again, your brain wants you to be comfortable. It doesn't want you to push yourself out of your comfort zone. And so it literally wants you to stay where you are because that's predictable. You know what to expect. Whereas this new life, this goal that you have that you're creating is something completely new. You've never done it before. And so it feels uncomfortable. And so literally count yourself down. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Don't think about it. Just do. And so I wanted to share with you the FOG behavior model because it's a great way for you to really analyze why am I putting this off? Is it because I lack motivation? How can I motivate myself? And as I said, if it's truly a heart goal and not a head goal, you don't need to be motivated externally. The goal itself should be inspiring you to take action. But then sometimes we're afraid A, the ability. Is it hard for me to do? Am I afraid that I don't know what I'm going to do? Am I afraid of what other people are going to think of me? And so what can I do? What's one step? What's one step that I can take today to take action? What's the one step that I can take today that creates that success motivation? And then the P is all about having a prompt, having a trigger, having a cue that reminds you it's time to take action. Let's go. If you followed those steps, if you recognize first and foremost why it is that you're procrastinating, why it is that you're putting it off until Monday, until tomorrow, until next month, until next year, then that gives you the awareness for you to be able to start to tackle what's really underlying this. Is it that it's just out of habit that I'm procrastinating? Or is it out of fear? And if it's out of fear, it's asking yourself the question about what is it that I'm afraid of? And then asking yourself, is that a legitimate fear? Is that fear worth me holding on to? Or is what I want to create in my life, the dream that I have, stronger than the fear that I have of achieving whatever it is that I want. Which one is stronger? Which one is pulling me more? The fear or being pulled towards the goal that I want to achieve? And then it's setting yourself up to make sure that every single day you have a prompt, a trigger, a cue that inspires you to take action. Because as I said, Action creates success motivation, which makes you want to do more. And as the saying goes, little by little, a little becomes a lot. And so I want to remind you, don't let those four words, I will do it tomorrow, be what stands in the way of you creating your most extraordinary life. Because as you already know, you are worthy. You are worthy to be. You are worthy to do. And you're worthy to have anything and everything your heart desires. Thank you so much for joining me for today's episode of The Worthy Podcast. Join me again soon. And I am so grateful that you made me a part of your day today. Now go take action.